This boss's moves are slow and predictable. The only problem with this boss is positioning. I like to be close to the front right leg where you can avoid a lot of the melee attacks. In phase 1 worry about dodging the melee moves and punishing her. She also has a slam attack usually followed by another move which can also be punished. At one point she'll do an attack where her blade turns blue. This is a 2 move combo which you can punish. Eventually she will point her shield into the sky and will have blue magic attack. During this part it will begin phase 2. At this point of the phase it will be much harder. As you can see she has a blue arrow attack which actually does a lot of damage. My recommendation is to find a good time to run away and summon some spirits. Uh, this will help distract her as she will attack them. This will give you enough time to be able to do damage. You, here you can see I got hit, but I just take my time and I dodge her magic moves. From here it should be pretty straightforward. If you have no problem with phase 1, you'll deal with this without a problem. Just don't get hit by her blue arrow attack, it does a ton of damage. And avoid all of her magic attacks. As you can see here, I finished her off with a throwing knife. And then of course teabagging to show her who's the real boss. Anyways, thank you for watching my Elden Ring video. If you want more tutorials, uh, be sure to drop a comment, leave a like, and subscribe. Thank you.